What's up guys, Mike here. Today I'm about to give you guys some more update on the SHLL stock, highly on stock, Turtis acquisition, and a lot more updates on their merger date because it has been officially announced on the exact merger date that I'm going to be telling you guys in this video. I'm going to be telling you guys what is going on with this stock because as you can see right now, the stock has been going down on a daily trend and I will go and break that down for you guys a lot further. I'll tell you all the information you need to know how to trade this stock if you want, how to trade it on a day trade, how to trade it for a couple of weeks and how you can also trade this stock for long term because there's a lot of potential ways you can make money on Turtis acquisition highly on stock and I'm gonna go over all those steps that you can take to become a millionaire just off this stock so with that said make sure to always smash that like button hit subscribe and let's begin let's check out SHLL Turtis acquisition merging with highly on stock on stockcharts.com and see where it's headed. So as you can see that the RSI is cooling down and it's going down and the stock itself is in fact on a downtrend. Now this doesn't mean that it's going to continuously going down every single day. There should be some days where you will see a little pop like that here and there. But in the meantime right now, SHLL Turtles acquisition will continue to go on a downward trend. So be prepared if you're already up a lot. Sell your some of your position, take some profits. There's nothing wrong with taking profits at all. I already sold all my position around $53 because I felt it was enough and I saw a downtrend coming along and I sold out of my position around $53. And as you can see, MACD is getting really close to converging. And when this happens and they cross over, this is really bad sign. That means it's going to be a sell zone from there on then. Because as you can see already, the TSI has already uh, crossed over and it's already going on a downtrend. So all I can tell you right now is that SHLL will continue to go on a downward trend. Now, it could come on Monday that this stock will have a nice little pop because usually Mondays and Tuesdays, we are usually accustomed to seeing Green Day. But as you can see, the whole market right now has been on a continuous downtrend ever since Tesla decided to put their $5 billion stock offering. And that pretty much put a little pressure on the whole technology sector, all the EV sectors, and it caused everything to go on a downtrend from there on. And right now, as we can see, it's already above the 200-day moving average. It did close above the 200-day moving average, but then it declined around $47 is the last price I saw. And I think right now it's very dangerous to hold this stock any further. Uh, I really recommend you take profits. But on the other note, SHLL Turtles Acquisition Hylion has officially announced the merger date, which is on September 28th. That is the date you can start voting at or before that you want this merger to go through. Obviously, if you already have position, you definitely want this merger to go through because if it doesn't go through, you lose a ton of money and the stock will go down to pretty much around 10 bucks again if the merger does not go through. So make sure you guys do vote yes on the merger or you will lose a ton of money if that merger does not go through. So September 28th update is that you can vote for it and the merger will be happening and within a couple of days after once the merger passes and the vote goes through, within a few days you can see the SHLL highly on stock, its name is going to change 100%. It will be H-Y-L-N, and it won't be Turtles Acquisition anymore. It will be Hylion, all right? So make sure you guys vote yes if you want this merger to happen and you don't want to lose money on your position. But as you can see right now, Hylion is on a downtrend, and I think it will continue to go downtrend for a couple of days uh, until it gets closer to merger day. And on that day, I can tell you, you might see some nice pops again it might start going right back up again so be prepared for that that is a good time to get back into this stock or you can hold until then there's nothing wrong ever holding long term the stock is very good and i promised you guys that i wanted to teach you guys how to trade 
this stock on a daily basis. So here is my tip for you. Pretty much every single day the past week, around 7.45, there's a huge major decline. From 7.30 to 7.45, there's usually a major, major decline in the stock, and it drops like around 5% in like a few minutes. And this is the best time to capitalize on this drop because around 8 o'clock to 8.30, the stock pops up. Like, no joke, the stock goes up like three four dollars sometimes it continuously goes up the whole day or sometimes it goes right back down on downtrend so if you want to trade the stock on a daily basis be prepared to buy it on the dip around 7 30 to 7 45 and watch it explode to around around eight o'clock to 8 45 now on friday it did not do that i was really surprised because i was about to trade this again because i've been trading it the past few days uh, ever since I sold my full position and I was making some good money on all my positions doing this But Friday it did not do that. It just continued to die Until it hit like $45 support line as you can see there is a support line I want to show you guys where are the support levels so you know where your support levels are now if Monday is a d decline and it continues to go down your next support level will be around $40. Now, this becomes extremely dangerous because if this breaks support level, it will go down to around $33 to $34. So be careful because if this this breaks, we're going down. You're not going to see too much. You might be lucky if it stops at $35. So watch out. If you're going to day trade this, it might be extremely risky because look what happened. It dropped all the way to $40. I almost got messed over because I got in around $42 and it dropped even more to 40 bucks and I was like, "Oh god, this is really bad." But then all of a sudden it popped up like 5-6 and I made like 3-4 and I sold out quickly cuz I it really got to me cuz like that drop to 40 was really really scary. But anyways, watch out for that because that could be huge problematic for a lot of people. So right, right now there could be a huge drop again to around $45 on opening day on Monday coming up September the 14th. So watch out. This stock could drop and then pop right around 8 o'clock to 8.30. And you can make a $3, $4 return on your trade if you are a day trader. Now, if you're a long-term holder, I really suggest you hold this for long-term because there's a lot of future with Hylion. Hylion has huge potential future i think the stock will definitely give tesla a run for its money tesla hasn't even started working on any of their trucks and hylion is already eons ahead they already have deals with supermarkets in texas uh, i wasn't able to find the article but i already found that they are already making deals with supermarkets in texas that they are hooking up the trucks from this specific company and the company is already a buyer, one of their buyers now. And they're fixing up their trucks and they're hooking it up. And this, I'm telling you, this company is going a lot of places. Now, if you want to catch the pop right before the merger, this could be the next Nikola pop, right? As we saw with Nikola, uh, right now they're not doing very good. Their Heidenberg has really messed their over. Short sellers destroying Nikola right now. And, and ever since they did their GM a merger or like acquisition, 11% of GM sold, they sold it to Nikola, bought, gave 11% to GM and it, the Heidenberg destroyed this company and short sellers have been destroying it as well. But as you can see, once the merger went through, which was around June 4th was the merger date. And of just a few days later, watch, boom, huge two day pops and then drop. So if you want to catch something like this, I think Hylion could do this. It's possible. It's very likely Hylion might go to 90 to 100, 110, 120 max. I highly doubt it could pass 100, but if it does, it might go even up to $120 really, really quickly and have a huge drop the next few days. It could do that, right? Because Nikola and Hylion have been extremely predictable and the way they move is very, very relatively the same. Now, Watch out because Tesla also has a huge effect on these two EV stocks. Now, Tesla is has been on a downtrend as well, and you guys really need to be pre prepared for that. Now, 
look what's going on with Tesla. Tesla, I told you guys the stock, if it breaks, uh, like I showed you guys earlier in my previous video, if Tesla breaks this point, it will drop and hit the next break, which was right here, 325. And I was on the money. Like anyone who traded it and bought it at this level would have made a good amount return the next few days. And right now, as we can see, it's holding support. Tesla is holding support pretty strong. But if it breaks support again right here, it will go down again and go back to 325. 25. Now, Tesla has um, battery day, which could be a huge setup right here, right now. If this continues going uh, across, I think it's a good time to buy. All right, there's no way it's going to go down because battery day is going to come up, and you bet you want to get into Tesla before it pops, and so you can get the maximum amount of return for your money. And just because it's going to be priced in, once it's closer to the merger, the battery day everything is going to be priced into the stock market and you're not going to get a better return. So make sure you capitalize on your return before uh, battery day because after that, it's not going to go up that much more. So be prepared. High Leon has a lot of uh, road ahead. Holding this long term is definitely a great choice. I think High Leon will definitely be a very good long-term position stock to hold. It's not going to be Nikola because there is no scam or any fraud going on like Nikola is going on right now. This company is pretty legit. They already have products on the line. They already have trucks on the road, and they're already getting a lot of support from several banks like Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan Chase. So this is a legit company unlike Nikola, and I want you to guys know if you want to plan to hold this for long term, you might come out very much ahead, and just going for that $58 all-time high might, might definitely surpass this and even go up to 100 plus anytime soon within the next few months or year because this company has a huge bright future thanks again for watching my video as always make sure to smash that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so youtube could alert you when my next video comes out also feel free to add me on instagram i pretty much post there daily i post my daily trades or anything i'm doing on my account on instagram so if you want to follow me there check me out on instagram link right there also, if you are already owning any SHLL stock or if you plan on owning it or you have a current position in it and you need any help, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can in there. Also, if you want two free stocks from the stock market, Webull gives two free stocks. One for just signing up to use their platform and a second stock. When you make a deposit of $100 or more, they'll give you a second stock worth up to $1,400. Check my link in the description below if you want to get two free stocks from Webull. You get a, two stocks, I get two stocks. Also, Robinhood gives out a free stock. Check the link in the description below. You just have to sign up and make an account, and Robinhood gives you a free stock just for using Robinhood account. Link in the description below as well for that. Thanks again for watching my videos, and until next time, make money with Mike.